Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be customizing another Launchfly bag. Let's do this one. Some of you may remember this backpack from when I made it into a sequins bag for learning purposes. I'll leave the link to that video down below. I originally had it painted black so that way the mesh sequins would go nicely over it. Since then I've painted it white so the black doesn't go through the fabric. My new plans for it now is to become a Bob's Burger bag. I had to customize this Pokemon metal plate, so I made that into a separate video which will also be linked down below. In the meantime, let's cut our fabric and get into Bob's Burgers. For anyone who hasn't seen the show, it's about a family trying to run their burger restaurant. The dad, Bob, does the cooking and fully believes in his burgers. Oh, burger. You cute. His wife, Linda, is his biggest supporter and she basically runs the front counter. I'm Linda. I love showers and mornings and bologna and turtles. And together they have three kids. Tina, the eldest, who's boy and butt crazy. That goes in the butt bank. Gene, the middle child, who basically dances to his own beat. Put the money in my bum bum. Gene. And Louise is the youngest. She's kind of the smart one out of the kids. She's got a dark sense of humor. Oh my God. Yay, dad, you're pedaling like crazy and not getting anywhere, just like your life. The kids help in the restaurant when they can, but they often get out of work and get into their own shenanigans. Each episode is different, so you never really know what to expect. Fun fact, did you know Bob's Burgers was originally pitched as a show about cannibals? I was shocked when I heard that, but apparently it was supposed to have like a Sweeney Todd type feel to it where the burger restaurant was a front for them to actually being cannibals. And I'm sure they probably eat the people, but they're also serving them in their meat patties. As a nod to this, their pilot episode is actually called Human Flesh. And basically Louise just spreads a rumor telling people that their burgers are made out of human remains from the crematorium next door. It's made with human remains from the crematorium next door. However, they're beef. I think it's pretty cool that even though the whole concept of the show changed, they play tribute to that original idea through the first episode in a joking manner. The very first episode of Bob's Burgers aired back in 2011. Since then, there's been 12 seasons with a 13th already in contract. Now one thing I have to admit is that although I still love Bob's Burgers, I especially love the original episodes, probably like the first four seasons I'm going to say were my favorite. And I think that's because around season five, they began introducing singing into their episodes. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not so much of a fan of the music in Bob's Burgers. I feel like that's like changing the Simpsons into a song and dance. And it just, it, it doesn't sit right with me. I don't need music. I gotta kick you right out the door. When I come across a musical number, I hit the fast forward button. Sorry, not sorry. In my opinion, just leave the songs to true musicals. Which brings me to the most recent Bob's Burgers movie. I was a bit indifferent about it. I really like the storyline, which I won't give any spoilers, so you'll just have to check it out for yourself. But there was a bit more singing in it that I cared for. I like the jokes. I like the mystery. I like the overall silliness of it. Just quit taking a good scene and having the Belcher family belt out in a chorus. Be out of here. No time, no time. Those are my thoughts, and I'll leave it at that. Now, as far as the Bob Burgers TV series, I think I read that they're at 226 episodes now, so it's hard for me to pick out a favorite one. I think the Thanksgiving episodes stand out in my mind the most as some of my favorites because Bob loves Thanksgiving and he has this weird relationship with whatever turkey he picks out and something always seems to go wrong. Like one time he had to cook a turkey for his landlord. Bob ends up getting drunk. He ends up naming the turkey Lance. Lance ends up getting shot. Another time the turkey keeps ending up in the toilet. And another time there was like a gas leak in the restaurant. So they had to cook the turkey in the alleyway over a fire, so on and so forth. It's always chaos one way or another. And it's always funny. Okay, don't mess this one up. I, I didn't. Next. I, I didn't mess it up. A small tidbit that I enjoy about Bob's Burgers is their burger of the day board. And I know that's such a weird thing to like, but it's all puns based off the ingredients that go into the burger. Think of it like a bad dad joke daily about burgers. For instance, there's a jack o' lantern burger, and then there's also a don't you for cheddar about me burger. There's actually a whole cookbook about the burgers of the day, and my friend actually has it, but I don't, so I can't review it. I think it would be more cool to own as a coffee table book rather than an actual cookbook, since how many burgers can one person eat, but that's just me. My favorite character is hands down Linda. I just love how quirky and free spirited she is. Mommy doesn't get drunk, she just has fun. She says whatever's on her mind and she has the best catchphrases. All right. She's voiced by John Roberts, which I became a fan of back in the older YouTube days. He used to do these skits of his mom that I would probably watch more times than I should admit, but they were just so funny. And growing up in Long Island, the accent he does mocking his mom is spot on for a slightly exaggerated Brooklyn accent. Ah, oh, right. look at the tree. Oh, look at the tree. 
It was his YouTube videos that landed him the role of Linda, and essentially his impersonations created the Linda character. Oh, everybody look at the tree! Oh, I love this tree! I feel like Bob's Burgers is just one of those TV shows you can just put on and tune out the rest of the world. It's one of those shows that you can have playing on in the background and catch yourself laughing at the little conversations that you hear. I think currently you can watch the show on Fox, Hulu, and a couple different other places, so if you haven't seen it yet, i definitely say give it a try. You might find that you like it, and especially if you like shows like The Simpsons, Family Guy, American Dad, or King of the Hill. It's relatable in some ways, completely outrageous in other ways, and just overall humorous. And if you're already a fan of Bob's Burgers, let me know what you like about it and who your favorite character is. With that, it looks like I'm finishing up with this bag, so let's take a look at the final result. All right. And here it is. I think the style of bag is perfect for this fabric. I absolutely love it and I love those little keychains I added to it. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you want, feel free to like and subscribe and until next time, bye friends.